look at these four areas, they dominate JE Main's math section, Vectors and 3D. There you get easy marks. So yes, they are the rank maker. Two to three questions, short, short questions are asked from metrics and determinants. The king of maths is calculus, of course. Do remember that even while preparing these chapters, you are studying smartly. When you study smart, it means you revise the concepts, you do daily formula revision, and then you solve PYQs, previous year's questions. In JE means the maths section specifically is repetitive, which means every year you see same questions, same formula, same pattern, only the number changes. So if you look at these four areas, they dominate JE mains math section. If I could begin with, I'll say vectors in 3D. There you get easy marks. And of course, if you master these concepts, for example, direction ratios, lines and planes, then of course, with this low theory, you get high return from this chapter. Next, we talk about coordinate geometry. In specifically coordinate geometry, you talk about straight lines and circles, then parabola, ellipse and hyperbola. So yes, they are the rank maker this section specifically, because it is simply and straightforward formula based. You learn these concepts, learn formulae and solve the questions. Straightforward questions are asked. You just need to apply the formulae. Then the third section, which I'd like to highlight here is would be matrices and determinants. If you learn operations on matrices and determinants, if you know properties, mixed properties, if you know a joint and inverse of a matrix, if you know how to deal with system of linear equations, then yes, you are done with this chapter. So free marks if you are prepared with this chapter. And two to three questions, short, short questions are asked from matrices and determinants. Then the fourth section, the king of maths is calculus, of course. 10 to 12 questions per paper are seen from calculus. Half of the paper is from calculus. Can you believe that? Look at these chapters, Libet's continuity, application of derivatives, area under the curve, definite integration and differential equations. Even if you master these chapters, basically this is entire calculus. But yes, if you look at calculus, you are done. And yes, do remember that even while preparing these chapters, you are studying smartly. When you study smart, it means you revise the concepts, you do daily formula revision, and then you solve PYQs, previous year's questions. That is handy and sufficient. You can watch our 15 by 15 series as well to consolidate these concepts. And even during the examination hall or while writing the mocks, your strategy should be attempting the chemistry first, then physics, and then maths in the end, because that is the most time consuming. And of course, in maths, don't fall into that trap where stubbornness is not rewarded. Try and understand every question, each question carries same marks. So go for the easy and moderate questions. Don't try to solve tough questions. So understand subject. And if you understand the subject, you can crack this subject because J maths is going to decide your maths, your rank, your percentile, your score.